Every crypto YouTuber tells you to do your own research, but rarely do they tell you how to do your own research. In today's video, I'm gonna show you five tools that will help you 10X your crypto research. These tools bring numbers and fundamentals to an industry that is often full of shills. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. Now, let's get into the video. First, before I get into the five tools in today's video, I wanna share that I compiled a list of over 50 crypto tools to help with your research. These tools involve portfolio tracking, analytics, on-chain analysis, tokenomics, yield farming, NFTs, airdrop, and security. And if you want all of these tools, you can follow the link down in the description, totally free. All right, and the first tool on the list today is known as DeFi Llama. This is an old favorite on this channel, and DeFi Llama is a free dashboard that has all sorts of fundamental stats on crypto projects. We're not gonna go through every detail of DeFi Llama today because that would take an entire video of its own, but to give you a few highlights, you have something known as total value locked by crypto protocol. Think of that as deposits if you're not familiar. So you can see, for example, Lido is the largest DeFi protocol with over $12 billion deposited, followed by MakerDAO with almost $8 billion deposited. And overall, DeFi Llama tracks thousands and thousands of different projects. Next thing they show you is total value locked by chain. So this is the sum of all of the DeFi protocols on specific chains. And then you can also see, for example, the number of active users on the chain. User here just means active wallet. You can see the number of stable coins on the chain. You can see the total volume across decentralized exchanges on the chain. And then you can see the number of fees collected on that chain. Some other useful things on DeFi Llama for your research is that you can see a breakdown more deeply of volume on different decentralized exchanges. So if you're investigating an exchange, you think it might be something that you are interested in investing in, then you can go here and see how much volume is actually running through it, right? Are people actually using the application or do they just have good marketing? Likewise, you can go to the fee or revenue section here and you can see how much revenue different DeFi protocols are bringing in. Here, fee refers to the money that users are paying and revenue refers to the money that users are paying that actually goes back to the protocol itself or to token holders. So for example, you can see that users are paying in the past 24 hours, $1.4 million to use Uniswap, but those fees are going to liquidity providers, not to Uniswap itself. Likewise, you can see that users paid $6.5 million to use Ethereum in the past 24 hours, and 5.4 million of that went back to ETH stakers. And then they track many, many protocols here. Again, this is a great way to find out if your favorite crypto project is actually making money or not. A couple other useful things on DeFi Llama is this stablecoin dashboard here. I actually have an entire video on how this is, I think, one of the most important metrics to look for. I'll link that down in the description, but you can see which chains people are bridging stablecoins to. For example, over the past week, stablecoins have net left Ethereum and gone to Tron and Binance Smart Chain. One other really useful dashboard within DeFi Llama is their yield dashboard. This allows you to search across thousands and thousands of different pools, nearly 10,000, and you can sort by things like chain, project, pool, TVL, APY, or go through specific attributes, for example, to only see pools that have stable coins in them. So if you're into earning yield in crypto, you wanna put your ETH or stable coins to work, then this dashboard is a great way to start finding pools that might be a good fit for your risk tolerance. The next tool to increase your crypto research is known as Artemis. Artemis is another analytics tool and they have some stats that aren't available on DeFi Llama and they allow you to go a bit deeper into certain things. For example, you can see daily active addresses across different chains and you can see daily transactions across different chains. Also importantly, they allow you to select which chains you wanna see. For example, if we wanted to add in Bitcoin and Arbitrum and remove Aptos and Near, then we can, and let's remove Solana as well, then we can look at this and the chart changes to exactly the chains we wanna see. And we can see, for example, that recently, Bitcoin has more active addresses than Ethereum. In fact, about twice as many with 720,000 daily on Bitcoin versus 
360,000 on Ethereum. However, if we compare daily transactions, we can see that Bitcoin has around 340,000 daily transactions, whereas Ethereum has around 1 million, not counting transactions on layer twos for either network. Uh, so this is really powerful. They have some other stats like TVL and DEX volume as well, although I use this app mostly for addresses and transactions. Uh, one other really cool feature that Artemis has is they have this activity monitor dashboard. This is something that I've been using a lot recently, and this shows you both trending categories and trending applications. For example, we can see that layer two, layer two contracts on Ethereum recently have seen a surge in active addresses. If we look at it on a three or six month time frame, and we can see that the amount of gas being used by these layer two contracts has also increased significantly from around $60,000, $70,000 in November to over $500,000 daily now. And there's a lot of other interesting stats on Artemis as well. For example, you can see weekly GitHub commits and active developers across different crypto ecosystems. And you can also see a comparison between different leveraged trading platforms that are on chain. The next tool to improve your crypto research is an on-chain analysis tool known as Bubble Maps. Bubble Maps creates really interesting visuals that allow you to see the connections between different wallets that are major holders of certain coins. For example, if we go to their website, bubblemaps.io, and we select Uniswap, then we can see here links between these different wallets that had transferred ETH to each other. So you might think, for example, looking at these alone, that that this particular person was not as big as some of these other wallets, but here you can actually see that they're connected somehow to these other wallets here. We can, we can change the criteria for establishing connections. And if we look, for example, at wallets that have transferred uni to each other, then you can see some significantly larger clusters that link different wallets together to show that although they might appear unaffiliated, if you were just looking at the bubbles on their own, these wallets actually have some sort of affiliation. Now, this doesn't always mean that they're the same person. However, it can often mean that they're either the same person or the same affiliated group of people. In this particular example, while this one wallet only has 2.5%, I mean, 2.5% is a lot for a coin like Uni, but they only have 2.5%. However, this cluster they're in actually has almost 7% of the Uni supply. And so this can just be a really powerful way to track how centralized different crypto tokens are and to find links between different wallets. The next tool that I want to share today is Token Terminal. Token Terminal is another analytics platform like DeFi Llama, like Artemis. However, they have some metrics that aren't available on those platforms. First thing that I would point out is they have fees and revenue like DeFi Llama does. However, I find that not every platform is on either of these two websites. So usually I check both when I'm looking into fees and revenue. In general, I find that Token Terminal has more protocols for this. And then they also show you the seven day and 30 day trend, which is really, really important if you're looking for which protocols are growing across time. They also have a dashboard for earnings. Now this is really interesting because this looks at the revenue of protocols, but then it subtracts out their token emissions. So this is to find whether protocols are actually bringing in more money than they're emitting in tokens, or are they bringing in money, but it's only because they're actually emitting a ton of tokens that end up being more than the amount of money people are paying to use the platform. Another really powerful dashboard on Token Terminal is their treasury dashboard. This shows you the treasury for different crypto projects. A lot of crypto projects don't survive multiple years because they simply run out of money or they don't have any users. In this case, you can see which projects have millions or even billions of dollars in their treasury, which is enough runway to last for a long time. Their daily active users dashboard is also powerful because it shows you active users both for blockchains and for individual applications. For example, we can see the number of users on Tron, BNB chain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then going all the way down to specific applications like PancakeSwap, Stargate, Lens Protocol, and OpenSea. Like Artemis, they have an active developers dashboard, and when I've compared these two, I find that they are typically the same numbers. So really, you could use whichever one you enjoy the, enjoy the visuals of better. 
And then Token Terminal just has a ton of other stats that you can see over here on the left hand side. The fifth tool that I want to show you today will take your tokenomics and token research to the next level, and that is a website known as Token Unlocks. Token Unlocks shows you the percentage of tokens that are currently locked up and when those tokens are coming unlocked. So for example, if we look here, we can see that this token, which I'm not familiar with, NYM, we can see that they have an upcoming unlock event in eight hours where 1.3% of the supply is coming unlocked. Moving down, we can see that BitDAO, for example, their Bit token, they have 2% of the supply coming unlocked in one day and eight hours. So anytime I'm looking at potentially investing in any sort of token, I always go to token unlocks first to see whether they have an upcoming major unlock and then diving in to look at which future unlocks might be coming down the line. Even if there's not one this week, maybe there's a lot coming over the next year. And then as you can see here, they show you how the current tokens are allocated and then when they're coming unlocked for different categories. Hopefully you found these tools helpful. Again, if you want to see all 50 tools, you can check out my crypto tool wiki. And if you want more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.